Hey y'all, Backyard Off-Road here, back with the 2020 Honda Talon to do a quick review and install video on some mud guards that Kimimoto sent me to try. So anybody that owns a Honda Talon knows that there's a places that are very hard to clean. There's places that mud will splash up. And if you guys watch my videos, you know that we're all over the East Coast and in muddy situations. So up, up front, you look right here, splash guard that comes upon a good quality product, but it only covers about two thirds of the front up here. And if you go to the back, we're constantly spinning wheels and slinging mud back up in there. You know how difficult that is to clean? Well, appreciate Kimimoto sending us these guards, these splash guards, or mud guards that are going here. This is what the kit looks like. It comes in a this unlabeled box, not a whole lot to it. It comes with the front piece, the, the front splash guard. It comes with the driver's side and the passenger side splash guards for the back and front of the rear tires. It comes with zip ties. And it also comes with these push pins. It looks like the only tools you really need is maybe a razor knife, um, a push pin puller, and a 10 millimeter socket. Let's try one on. All right. The instructions say to remove this pin here, this push pin, and as well as the 10 millimeter bolt, this right here. So I've got them pulled out. And now we have to work the actual mud guard from here and up, putting the zip ties in, and then finally attaching it up here, up top. Let's see what it looks like. All right, I got it up in here. I got the bolt back in. Got the push pin back in. Zip ties are in. All I just have to do is tighten them up. Some of the reviews say the zip ties aren't the best in the world. Um, really didn't see any issues with the zip ties. But I'll leave that up to you if you want to put different ones on. All in all, I know this is going to keep all of that mud and debris from going back up under there and making it incredibly difficult to clean. Super easy. It didn't take but maybe two or three minutes. Let's try the other side. All right. This one installs pretty much the same way. It's got one little hole up top for a push pin and the rest of it is zip tied on. Now one So the passenger side's in. Hope y'all can see that. Uh, maybe a little bit harder than the driver's side, but not bad. Basically, work your work your way from the bottom on up. Make sure you work all your zip ties in. Come back and finish tighten them after you're done. This push pin here has to come off as well as this push pin here, work everything back behind this plastic here. Pretty simple. Let's see what the front looks like. All right, with the front, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna pop all these push pins out. I'm gonna move these four or five of them, and I'm going to just take the, the rubber out and replace it with this Kimimoto full width version. Let's see what, how quick it goes. I got the front splash guard finished up. Um, I was impressed with the way it fit. All the holes lined up, and it even has holes for pre-existing holes in the frame that wasn't was not used before to make this thing really stay in there. I had to cut a little bit of little slot in it for my winch wires, but other than that, it fit perfect. So all in all. Um, inexpensive product. I think it's going to help keep mud out of some of the crevices. I'm not sure if um, you guys ever had the issue with mud going back up into the cab from in here. I think this is going to completely stop that. There is, in the X4s, there is a basically brain box right below the, the rear driver's side seat. And that always gets caked full of mud. 
I think this is going to stop back completely also. So I'm excited to see what this looks like when we're on the trails. I want to thank Kimimoto for sending us this product to try. I want to thank you guys for watching. I do recommend this product. I know it's going to make a big difference in keeping the mud out of the cab and also cleaning up after a ride. Y'all take it easy.